is willing to give me a $10 million check right now, what is it to say if Nike or Adidas isn't willing to give me $20 or $30 million up front? Or to say if maybe the upfront money isn't the biggest thing? Maybe let's start thinking about the back end. And thank God he did. James's initial $90 million lifetime deal with Nike has now become worth over $1 billion. What's up, CEO Black Chick Nation? You know, it's your girl, Mimi Ryan. And I'm here with you all today because we are so excited to celebrate Black king mondays that's right today is black king monday where we celebrate kings in our communities doing amazing things building awesome kingdoms so we have so many 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 men doing amazing things in our communities um one of which being the king himself lebron james <laughs> that's right today we're going to talk about king james himself all the amazing things that he's doing off the court as well as on the court so you guys are going to get some amazing information in this video stay tuned before we go further make sure you like share comment and subscribe but make sure um you're subscribed and you tune in all right Yay! Let's get started. I've heard you say many times, I just don't want to be broke again. <laughs> And that feeling comes from, I tell people all the time, LeBron grew up in the project that was at the bottom of the hill. It's like if someone's from Akron and asks you where you're from, you say the bottom. The bottom. Growing up as a kid, did you know that or were you just having fun being a kid? Nah, you didn't know that. I didn't know that because I was having so much fun being in the bottom. I didn't want to go to the top as a kid. <laughs> I was afraid of the top. You know, that's what made me who I am today. It kind of just gave me that structure. But like you said, yeah, the bottom is, uh, you know, it's where I grew up in, like yeah, you said. Yeah, it's literally and figuratively. Right? It's literally and figuratively the bottom. You know, there's a lot of athletes who talk about money. Like, right. you never really have that. Is that just a conscious thing you have, or is it something you don't want out there? <laughs> I, I think that's just come from my upbringing. You know, it's like, you know, my uncles always taught me, like, they was my savings account. They taught me how to have a savings account. So, you know, if they give me a dollar, they'd be like, listen, nephew, you know, go ahead and spend 35 cents of it and keep the other 65. You know, or if they gave me $2, they'd be like, you know, go ahead and spend a dollar of it, but, but stash the other dollar. So I'm always in my head about stashing and like keeping my money like, you know, sacred and to myself because I didn't know when the next, I didn't know when my uncle was gonna give me another dollar here <laughs> or another 50 cent here. So I've always kind of had that, like that, that closure about my finances and things. The highest paid player in the world and top earner off the court, LeBron James impressively earned an astonishing $90 million from Nike by the time he was just 18 years old after signing a lifetime contract. Just like that, overnight, James became a multi-millionaire as he went from a high school basketball star to the number one overall pick in the 2003 NBA draft. In a recent episode of James's new show, Needing Dough, James shared the one decision he made that became one of the best business decisions of his life. According to James, he took a meeting with former Reebok chairman and CEO Paul Fireman, who offered him $10 million to sign with Reebok and not talk to Nike or Adidas. James explained that Fireman slid a check down the table and said, Listen, if you take this right now, you just promised me you won't go talk to Nike or Adidas. You know, you can take this right now. James said that he was at a loss for words, growing up in Akron, Ohio from the projects, living in a unit that was $17 a month, the check would look extremely enticing to anyone. However, James explained that there was something inside of him telling him to wait and see what the other companies had to offer. What was happening in James's head at that exact moment was his natural business acumen kicking in. 
I started thinking, if he's willing to give me a $10 million check right now, what is it to say if Nike or Adidas isn't willing to give me $20 or $30 million up front? Or to say if maybe the upfront money isn't the biggest thing. Maybe let's start thinking about the back end. And thank God he did. James's initial $90 million lifetime deal with Nike has now become worth over $1 billion. James enters his last two years of high school as the top prospect in the nation. I don't want nobody to pass me. I mean, they say I'm the best player in the country, and I wanted to keep it that way for the next two years. I always knew he was going to be good. I got to admit, never knew it was going to get this big. As you mentioned earlier, there's LeBron James playing the passing lane. Oh, man! <laughs> that you will see plenty of during the regular season. The swipe followed by the slam. How many times are we going to see things like that? Two games of these finals, he's got to play better. Turns it over. James keeps his dribble somehow. Irving back to James! Oh, he throws it down! Draymond Green can't hit. Quick outlet to Irvin. Irvin to drive. Irvin to finish. The floor. And even a solid percentage in the three ball. Loose ball. Irving gets it. And numbers now for the Cavs here. Smith. The lob to Jim. Oh! LeBron! Well, that was a tough game. It definitely feels good, you know, to have a camp like this in your home city uh, of Akron, Ohio, man, to bring all the all the best young kids and the best prospects coming up in the game today. Uh, it feels good. It's definitely an inspiration because I've been in this position before, you know, when I was one of the best high school players also, and, and um, it's a great feeling. Good morning. Welcome. Kids arrive for the first day of school today in Ohio as a new approach to fix an old problem takes center court, led by someone who knows their stories more than they could imagine. I know exactly what these 240 kids are going through. Um, I know the streets that they walk. I know the trials and tribulations that they go through because I've been there. Which is why NBA superstar LeBron James and his foundation are opening this school in Akron for at-risk third and fourth graders who struggle both in school and at home. The most important thing that we can give them is structure and a sense of they just want someone to feel like, they, like we care. I Promise is a public non-charter school it offers an innovative approach, a longer class day, and a longer school year, and provides support to help kids with trauma. The school will also help parents find a job and have an on-site food pantry for families. These kids should still have the same opportunity um, as everyone else. These kids are our future, and no, no matter uh, if I'm playing in Los Angeles or not, Akron, Ohio is always home for me. A kid from Akron leaving a legacy of hope for children. And LeBron means more to Northeast Ohio than just a banner or a basketball court. He's also invested significant time and money into the community, especially in his hometown that he's so proud of, Akron. And while he may be putting on a new NBA uniform, Manny Abraham shows us his true colors remain right here. He made a promise, and he will always make good on that. A promise to help kids succeed in his hometown. LeBron James has been clear that his focus begins with his family and the hundreds of kids who have taken the I Promise pledge to work hard in and out of the classroom. He has a mission and that's to create generational change in his hometown and show every other community how it's done.
We are family. We are a community. We are Akron. We are people who are passionate about working with kids. We are our better future. The LeBron James Family Foundation is a nonprofit organization that focuses on children, and we stress the importance of education and also being physically fit and living a healthy lifestyle. The heart of the foundation is to impact the lives of those in our community. We are people who love our community, and we want to see it grow. In America, a child drops out of school every 26 seconds, so it became the charge of the LeBron James Family Foundation to provide a solution. It's been documented. LeBron's life was kind of rough early on. LeBron was one of these kids. How do we start changing this nationwide problem? As a foundation, we can have an impact in these kids' life by working with them. If you start young, you have a better chance of helping them cross the stage through graduation. When we know that what we're doing is actually making a positive difference in their lives. Every day can make a difference, and you never know what that difference can make or what you can change by just being there. And we know how much they appreciate it sincerely. When we're able to see what they are doing and what their needs are, our interventions can come in and help them get to where they should be. It is the goal of LeBron and the LeBron James Family Foundation to change the world. So if we can change that statistic in Akron and improve graduation rates in his hometown, we can change the world. Having that goal and having that dream, I think, uh, means a lot. We want them to graduate. We want them to be everything they could ever imagine and more. The foundation is this because we believe in giving back. What is the LeBron James Family Foundation? It is a safe haven for children that looks out for children and provides them opportunities and most importantly, hope. Comment below. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know um, what you're doing in your community. If you know some CEO Black Kings you feel like should be featured, let us know in the comments. Drop their information. We want to reach out to them and we want to feature them on CEO Black Cheek Nation. We want to feature them. Okay. So, Put that information in the comments and make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, share the video. Let the world know about the Black Cheek Nation and what we got going on over here, okay?